Hi, it's Barbara. Welcome back to Wikidesign. Today we're going to go over the difference between virtual and downloadable products in WooCommerce. I find that there's some confusion between the two, so I wanted to make a video that went over the differences and show you how to add these in WooCommerce. This is part of a series of videos that I've done on WooCommerce, so if you're interested in learning more, make sure to check out that playlist and subscribe to the channel so you get notified whenever we upload new videos. So what is the difference between a virtual product and a downloadable product in WooCommerce? A virtual product is a product that isn't an actual physical product, so there's nothing being shipped out. A good example of a virtual product would be if you paid for a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. That's something that you paid for, but you don't actually get shipped anything. You might get a link to have that call with your coach. A downloadable product is a little bit different. A downloadable product, you actually do get something when you purchase that product. So a good example of that would be if you bought an ebook and you got a link to download the product after you purchase it. Another example would be a template that you bought for social media graphics and you got that template after you purchased the product. So that's the difference between virtual and downloadable products. Now to add these products in WooCommerce, you would want to go to products and then add new. If you're familiar with WooCommerce, this screen should look pretty familiar. You would add your product name, you would add your product description down here. And then when you get down to this area, this is where you have to pay attention. So the only way that you can have virtual or downloadable products is if you choose the simple product option. If you choose any one of these other ones, these buttons go away. And that's because virtual and downloadable products are only available for simple products. So you would choose the simple product, and then from here, you would pick whether it's a virtual product or a downloadable product. So you would click one of these boxes. When you click virtual, you see that there are a couple different options that change in here. And when you click downloadable, you see that we have a couple more options here. You can have both virtual and downloadable products at the same time, which can get a little bit confusing. I kind of recommend doing either one or the other because it is a little bit confusing otherwise. If you are going to have something that is downloadable, even though it technically is a virtual product, you're not shipping anything out, I would just click the downloadable option. A lot of the information that you'll put in is the same for any other simple product in WooCommerce. You'll put in the price, you can put in inventory with the SKU number and the manage stock. You don't have to worry about shipping for this because you're not actually shipping anything, so you could ignore that. But you can put in upsells and cross-sells as well, and attributes and any advanced options you probably wouldn't have to worry about for a virtual or downloadable product. So let's go back to general. Now for downloadable products, you'll see that there is this option for downloadable files. This is where you will actually upload the file that you plan on selling. So here you want to hit add file and you get a couple more options. You put in the file name here and then where the file URL is, you can actually choose the file from your media library. So if you click that, you can either select it from the media library or you can upload it to the media library. I've already uploaded something as an example. So when I hit insert file URL, you can see that the file URL goes in here. So now all I have to do is name this. I'm going to call it downloadable product. We do have some options for the download limit here as well. We can have unlimited downloads, meaning that once somebody buys this, they can come back and download it as many times as they want. We also can say that they can only download it once or whatever number of times we want. You just adjust this here. The download expiry means that you have the ability to control the number of days before the link expires. If you leave it blank, that means that people have unlimited time to download their product. But if you set a date for this, that means that 
they only have a certain amount of days to download the product before that link will expire and they would have to purchase it again. Virtual products are a little bit easier because you just have to put in the price. If you have it on sale, you can put in a sale price. You can put in a SKU number and you can put in the inventory, but with a virtual product, you don't really have to manage inventory. So I would honestly just leave this blank. Uh, linked products, you still have the ability to do that. And attributes, advanced, and this tab for more options, you probably won't have to really worry about any of that because this is a virtual product. So you don't have as many options with this, but that's just because there aren't that many options really that you have to worry about with virtual products. Below the product shirt description, you can still add that if you want, that will show up on the front end. And then over on the right hand side, we do have the options to add product categories, product tags, and you can change the product images down here. So very similar to what we already are familiar with in WooCommerce when we add products. But there's just a couple more steps that we have to do to set a virtual or a downloadable product in WooCommerce. I hope that you found this video helpful and you got some good information regarding what the difference is between virtual versus downloadable products in WooCommerce. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any more information regarding WooCommerce or any of the other videos that we do on this channel. I'll see you next time.